dear friend, what a blessing coming your way once again this week. It's an amazing week and I look forward to God doing so much good unto us. Welcome to Faith Credo, our weekly devotional. Let's share a word of prayer. Abba Father, we are at your feet once again. Help us to understand your word and may we grow by it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The past week has been amazing and I encourage you to get those clips on when God is silent and you will be tremendously blessed. And I also want to encourage you, uh, make our time to share, like and subscribe to our channels. Amen. Now, this week we are starting a new series and it is titled The Growth Series. The growth series and under this growth series we'll be having a number of topics that we'll be dealing with and what is our aim for this growth series our aim is to help each and everyone grow and become able ministers of the gospel of truth everyone to grow and become able ministers of the gospel of truth and we want to kick off with uh, growing in faith, growing in faith. And our anchor scripture is found in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. And it says, Faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. It's the confidence we have that what we hope for will definitely happen. And the assurance that we might not see it, but it will come to pass. There are a number of acronyms for faith, but I've coined one for the purpose of what we are going to be doing, and I want to share it with you. F standing for found in Jesus Christ. A aligned to God's divine will. I ingrained in his word. T transformed. H heard and kept by the Holy Spirit. So our acronym is found in Jesus Christ, aligned to God's divine will, ingrained in his word, transformed, held, and kept by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, why is faith necessary in our Christian growth? Why do we need faith? Number one, by faith we have justification in the sight of God and we have peace with God as well. Romans chapter 5 verse 1 has this to say. Romans 5 verse 1. It said, Therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Justification and peace only comes by faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Number two, it is only by faith that we can please God. Only by faith that we can please God. And we definitely need to please our Father. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Let's hear the word of God. It said, And it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to Him must believe that God exists and that He rewards those who sincerely seek Him. Hallelujah. It is impossible to please God if you don't have faith. Number three, by faith, we obtain good report or good reputation. We have good report by faith. Hebrews 11 verse 2, it says, Through their faith, the people in days of old earn a good reputation. And some translations say, receive good report. By faith, we earn good reputation. Isn't it amazing? Number four, by faith, we are regarded as or counted as righteous. We are regarded as or counted as righteous. Genesis 15 verse 6. And it said, And Abraham believed the Lord, and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. Abraham believed, and it was counted unto him as righteous. In fact, we receive imputed righteousness as a result of our faith in Christ. Imputed, meaning it's not as a result of what we are able to do. It's not as a result of our works. It's not as a result of our goodness, 
but rather because somebody does something for us to receive it. And who is that somebody? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Let's hear the word of God in Romans. Romans chapter 4, 23 to 25. And he said, And when God counted him as righteous, it wasn't just for Abraham's benefit. It was recorded for our benefit too, assuring us that God will also count us as righteous if we believe in him, the one who raised Jesus, our Lord, from the dead. He was handed over to die because of our sin, and he was raised to life to make us right with God. Hallelujah. Because of him, because of him, he died that you and I can be counted as righteous. So we receive imputed righteousness as a result of our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Number five, our daily life on earth is lived in the word by faith in Christ. Our daily life on earth in his word is by faith in Christ Jesus. We live daily by faith in Christ Jesus. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, my old self has been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. So I live in this earthly body by trusting in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Daily, daily, in our attitude, in our decisions, in our actions, in our interactions with people, if we want to make impact, if we want to be fulfilled, we must live in faith through our Lord Jesus Christ. We must be guided by the principles of our Lord Jesus Christ, even as we trust him in faith. Hallelujah. Now, finally, for this section, we receive Abraham's blessings because of our faith in Christ. In the same way, Abraham put his faith in God. We receive his blessings. We keep on singing, Abraham blessings are mine. But how is it ours? By receiving, by receiving them as we put our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now Galatians 3, 6 to 9 have this to say. It said, in the same way, Abraham believed God and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. The real children of Abraham then are those who put their faith in God. What's more, the scriptures look forward to this time when God would declare the Gentiles to be righteous because of their faith. God proclaimed this good news to Abraham long ago when he said, All nations will be blessed through you. So, all who put their faith in Christ share the same blessing Abraham received because of his faith. Hallelujah. All who put their faith in Christ, we all share the same blessing that Abraham received. What an amazing blessing. What an opportunity for you and I. Abraham was blessed because of his faith. And when we put our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, whatever blessing that we are looking for, blessings of health, blessings of finances, blessings of growing, blessings of whatever breakthrough we are looking for, they can all be found in Christ. And the most important blessing is to have fellowship with the King of Kings, to always have a constant fellowship with Him. It gives meaning to our lives. And I want to encourage you, put your faith in Christ. And as you do, you will be tremendously blessed. Hallelujah. Next week, we are going to look at the rest of the reasons why we need faith. Hallelujah. Now, question for this week, what is faith and how does it impact your personal life? Action point. Meditate on Hebrews 11, 1 to 2. Meditate on Hebrews 11, 1 to 2. Now, our faith declaration, my faith is in Christ Jesus. I silence every voice of doubt. I am an achiever. This week, I will achieve every project I set my mind to do in Jesus' mighty name. By faith, amen. Hallelujah. Now, Bible reading for the week, day one, 
Hebrews 11, 1 to 2. Day 2, Romans 4, 23 to 25. Day 3, Matthew 21, 21 to 22. Day 4, Galatians 3, 6 to 9. Day 5, Galatians 2, verse 20. Day 6, Genesis 15, verse 6. And day 7, Romans 5, verse 1. Let's share a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this privilege. I ask that this week we will move prophetically and in faith to possess our possession. Everything that we need to achieve in life and in destiny, by faith, we begin to walk in those territories. Whatever stumbling block that have hindered us, we push them down this week by faith. And we decree we are designed to be achievers. And by your grace, we shall achieve in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. What a blessing. What a pleasure coming your way. Remember to share, to like. And let's hear from you what God is doing. And we know that you will be tremendously blessed. Even as we ourselves are being blessed. God bless you. And throughout this week, have it at the back of your mind. You are walking in faith and you will possess your possession. Till I come your way again next week, do have a blessed week. God bless you. Amen. Reverend Julia is a counsellor, children's church minister, conference speaker, and a teacher of God's word, grace with a healing anointing. For bookings and updates on her messages, devotionals, and related events, please call 055-081-2255 or 020-77-58227 or send an email at rev.juliaoji at gmail.com. Like and follow her social media handles on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram at Rev Julia Oji. So she comes your way again with another session of the Faith Cradle. Stay strong and favored. God bless you. Connect with Apostle Freddie and Julia Oji for a heavenly experience of glory with a host of other believers at the Miracle Revival Chapel International. Friend, join any of our services on the days on your screen. A divine encounter awaits you. God bless you.